I, oh, I pull up, I'm moving too smooth. I, oh, I pull up, I'm moving too smooth. Yeah, I got colors, I got heels. I feel like Jizzy, I got views. I use them, baby, like a mules. Play them like the ones and two. Bow! What's going on, everybody? It's your boy Chad Arms, aka Chetty Bobby. Oh, buddy! And it's getting close to hoodie season. It's around. It's in the 70s right now outside in my house. I like to keep it 68 to 70. So I'm rocking a hoodie today. Um, it's supposed to start cooling down here in Tennessee by the end of the week. Um, you're seeing this uh, is going to be on a Tuesday. Of course, I pre-film a lot of my stuff. Um, so this is going to be on a Tuesday. So I hope everybody's having a good Tuesday or whenever you're checking this out. Be sure to hit that subscribe button. Be sure to hit that bell for notifications and click all. That way, every time I drop a video, which is daily, sometimes twice daily, like the gas station, you're going to be the first one to find out about it. All right? Today, we are going to talk about 10 forgotten fragrances in my collection. I'm closing in on a 200 bottle collection right now that's continuing to grow. And when you have that many bottles, stuff's going to end up, you know what I mean, getting looked over. And all these are some that I still enjoy. I just don't, I feel like I need to use more. So I wanted to shine some light on those. If you hear some noises like some hammering or stuff or something in the background, um, I'm getting some work done to the outside part of the house. Um, we're getting some uh, stuff done with the show, with the uh, gutters and uh, the siding and stuff like that. So I'm, I'm gonna have the music underlaying like always, but if you hear that, I apologize. We're gonna try to drown most of that out um, when I edit it. But we're gonna get right into it, man, let's go. All right, so the first one I want to talk about is from Perry Ellis. I have tons of stuff from Perry Ellis, but this is one that I feel like I look over um, and I need to check and I need to use more, and that is Perry Ellis M or Perry Ellis Man. Um, this one's from 2002. You got lime, apple, neroli, bergamot, teak wood, patchouli, rose, labdanum, musk, and vanilla. This one I think I picked up off of eBay, maybe. Got a great scent to it, man. It's just one that I picked it up after I picked up all those Perry Ellis 360s, and it's got a very nice scent to it, mainly citrus based. But it's one that I just forget to use. Um, obviously, you can tell that it's barely got a dent in it. So I'm going to make it a point to try to use my, some of these more in my rotations. But this is this is a very nice scent. It's just one that I've looked over in the collection, and that's Perry Ellis M for men. Now, some of these in the collection are going to be some that I really do like, I just forget about. And then some of them are ones that I'm not a huge fan of, but I like them enough to keep them. You know what I'm saying? So, this is kind of one of those that I like enough to keep. It's just not one of my favorites. And that is from Azaro, and this is Azaro Shine. This is from 2019. You got bergamot, sand, and cedar. Um, and this, is, this one's okay. This one, to me... I don't really smell the bergamot at all in this. It smells it smells floral to me, really. It says bergamot, sand, and, and cedar are the notes in it. I'm guessing I'm just smelling the sand and cedar. It doesn't have a bad scent. It's just not one of my favorites, so I don't use it much. Um, so it's definitely one of the forgotten ones in my collection. But again, I like it enough to keep it around. You know what I mean? And that is from Azaro, and it is Azaro Shine. This next one I want to talk about is one that I really do like, but again, it kind of just gets put to the wayside. I've used it a couple times, but definitely want to throw it in the rotation more as a post shower fragrance. And that is from Ferrari and that's Ferrari Scuderia Red. This one's from 2010. Really nice smelling fragrance. Um, bergamot, mint, orange, pettigrain, uh, gal uh, galbanum. It's got a nice scent to it, man. Obviously with these, they're, they're cheap, so you're not going to get much life out of them, but they're good two, you know, two, three hour fragrances post-workout, post-shower. And this is one that I just need to go to more. I usually just want to gra I easily grab like a, a Cool Water, a Hollister, or a Nautica, usually, you know what I'm saying? But one that I need to need to grab for more, and that is a Ferrari Scuderia Red. All right, so this next one I'm gonna talk about is from Michael Kors, and it's one I picked up at Marshall's. Got a great scent to it, but I always forget about it when I'm going to put a fragrance on, and that is Michael Kors Extreme Speed. Now this is from 2018. You got cypress, cardamom, cinnamon, coriander, and cedar. Spice heavy fragrance. Um, almost got an oud vibe to it, but I really do like it. It's just one that gets forgotten about when I go to grab something. If I want to grab something similar to this, I usually go for, you know, whether it's Versace, 
oud or boss bottled oud or something like that or one of my uh, ismiakis I just kind of forget about extreme speed from Michael Kors and it's a nice one it just needs to get thrown in the rotation more so definitely recommend it if you're looking for some fall time like fragrances this is a good one and it's always dirt cheap Michael Kors extreme speed this next one I picked up at Bath and Body Works and I do like this one I actually got two bottles of it because it was like clearance for like 10 bucks a bottle and that is Bath and Body Works Ocean. I'm a big fan. This one I like a lot better, Atlantic. So I end up, when I go to grab an aquatic again, I've got so many. This one just kind of gets forgotten about, man. And it's got a good scent to it. Nice, very um, aquatic vibe, but also feels like um, similar to like Kenneth Cole Reaction. It gives me that vibe, but it's definitely one that I don't reach for enough. And that is uh, Bath and Body Works Ocean. This next one is from Frank Olivier. Um, and it's one that I, I, I like the scent. It's not one of my favorites. If I had a bottom 10, which I may do at some point, a bottom 10, um, it would probably be on there. It's again, but I still like it enough to, uh, to keep it. And that is Frank Olivier's Sun Java White. You got 2011 Bergamot, Lemon, Grapefruit, Orange, Tangerine. Now it says there's a lot of citrus notes in this but which i do smell but i honestly smell floral notes in this somewhat like geranium or something but it doesn't have those listed in the notes it's all citrus so this is a you it, it smells very you smell that li, that lemon um it smells like lemonade it really does and it just gets forgotten about um, I don't know what it is, mainly because that first note, like once it dries down, it doesn't smell floral. I'm just not huge into floral notes. And this smells good. It just kind of gets forgotten about in the collection. Obviously, that's why it's on this list. But it's still one that I recommend if you like fresh lemonade type scents. And that is Frank Olivier's Sun Java White. You can get it for under 20 bucks all day on Fragrance Net. Next up is one that I definitely forget about. Um, it's starting to grow on me. When I first got it, I picked it up when I got all the other Elk 1212 Lacoste, and it just didn't stand up to those for me. But people love this one, and I need to give it more of a shot. And that is Lacoste Essential. This is from 2005. You got Cassia, Bergamot, Tangerine, Tomato Leaf, and Pepper. This has got a nice scent to it, man. Good freshy, for sure. Oh, man. It smells really good. And it's one that I've just really been forgetting about. It, it, it sits behind my Lacoste L1212 lineup, and it just gets forgotten about, honestly. It's got a very good scent. People love this one. It's one that I definitely need to give more love to, and that is Lacoste Essential, man. This next one is from the Cuba line. Now, I've got three from them, and I completely forget about them, all three of them, honestly. Um, I think they smell good. I just don't ever remember to go grab them, to use them. But this is one that I really like. Um, I just don't use it enough, and that is Cuba Copacabana. This is bergamot, rose, lemon blossom, musk, and amber. This is a very nice scent. Oh, man. Smells really good. Just with these, they're so cheap. You know, they're like 10, 12 bucks, man. They're great to spray on um, post-shower. You know, they're great Aaron Runner fragrances, but you're not going to get a lot of life out of them. And this has got a nice scent to it, man. It's just one that I forget. It's my favorite of the three that I have. I've got... Um, Cuba Gray, which almost smells exactly like a clone of Polo Sport. So it definitely doesn't get used because I would just use Polo Sport. You know what I'm saying? Um, and then there's the Prestige Black. Smells good. I just forget to go grab it. But I wanted to show some love to Copacabana from Cuba. I think it's got a nice scent to it, man. And it's just one that needs to get used more. <sighs> Holla if you hear me. This next fragrance, another one that smells great, but it gets forgotten about, man. It's my only one from Juicy Couture, and that is Dirty English. This one smells really good, but it's definitely a one of a kind. You gotta be in a certain mood to really wanna rock this one, in my opinion. Peppered Mandarin, Blue Cypress, Calabrian Bergamot, Cumin, and Cardamom. Very strong. Um, definitely smell that, that Cypress. It's got a very brooding, spice-based feel to it. And it's just one that I don't use a lot. Um, not that I don't like it, I think it smells great. It's just one that kind of gets pushed to the side because you really gotta be in a mood to rock Dirty English, in my opinion. Um, and I think it's because of the, just, just the notes in it. It just gives off a almost like a leather kind of vibe. 
but I dig it, and I, I'm glad that I have it in the collection because it's unlike anything else that I have. But um, if you want to try a one of a kind type thing that'll be good for fall, I think give it give Juicy Couture Dirty English a shot, and uh, I'm gonna try giving it more of a shot myself. And last but not least is one from the Cremo line. Now I've got three from Cremo. I need to catch up and get some more of them. And this is one every time I go grab Cremo. Obviously, I go for spice and black vanilla. I love that fragrance. It's one of my favorite fragrances in my collection. I also use um, the Blue Cypress and Cedar, I think is what it's called. But I never remember to grab this one and give it a spray. And that is Cremo's Bourbon and Oak. This has definitely got a nice scent to it, man. But very barber shop heavy. As you can see, um, I'm letting my hair grow out and my beard. I ain't been to the barber in a minute. And I'm fine with it, man. It's becoming fall. I might let my hair grow back out. I don't know what I'm going to do from one day to the next. You know what I'm saying? This has got a great scent to it. But definitely, one, you got to be in a certain mood to rock. Because with it being bourbon and oak, that's exactly what you're going to get from it. Some people don't like this vibe. Um, very manly, very brooding again. But I think it smells great, man. And it's one that I'm going to try to rock more here in the fall since it's getting cooler. Not a summer fragrance. Um, and that is Cremo's Bourbon and Oak. Sorry, drew a blank. <laughs> but yeah, there we go. Ten forgotten fragrances in my collection that I will be making a point to try and rock more. You know what I'm saying? Because it happens with all of us, man. When you get to the insane level of collecting that I've gotten to with these fragrances, it's just going to happen. I could have done a 30 list, but I wanted to stick to 10 and give light on these 10 because I really do enjoy them all. Um, there's only a couple, like I've talked about in this one, that I, maybe one or two that I'm just not a big fan of the scent itself, but I like it enough to still keep it around. You know what I mean? And sometimes your taste changes, man. I know when I first bought CK1 Shock, I was like, I don't know if I really like that. And then a month and a half later, I sprayed. I'm like, what have I been doing? This is incredible. You know what I mean? So you, your your palate changes with, with with fragrances just like it would with eating things. And, you know, and sometimes just with your senses in general, your, your tastes change over time. So, um, but hopefully y'all enjoy this video. I know it's a little different style video, but I figure, figure you know, uh, why not do it? So uh, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Be sure to hit that bell for notifications and click all that way. Every time I drop a video, you're going to be the first to find out about it. We're dropping two a day, and we're going to keep this momentum going, man. We're, we're closing in on 12,000 subscribers. Hit that comment section of Let's get some dialogue going, and I'm going to record some more videos for y'all and get them set for release here later this week. Thank y'all so much, man. Three things left to say to you. Love, peace, and hair grease. Woo!